Hello everyone. I promised a follow-up video to the last one. The reason being, this, without a doubt, reinforces Howlett v. Rose. And it's the reason Howlett v. Rose itself exists. Because it is the one that explains Howlett v. Rose. My favorite, absolute, without a doubt, case is Adamson versus California. 332 U.S. 46, 1947. Before I go into reading the actual verdict and all that good stuff, I'm going to give you a little bit of history. This has nothing to do with a traffic stop. This was a habeas corpus case, and the thing was, this was one of the many cases that led to the selective incorporation doctrine, because the case itself was a Fifth Amendment case. It was a young man that was jailed over a state statute, and while he was jailed, it was conclusive that the state statute violated his human rights rights that the state cannot give you so if the state can't give it to you they can't take it away and the only application that it applied to even if doing a vocation or a job required you to have that licensing if you are not participating in that there is no requirement or even consequence upon you to have that and again it's a fifth amendment case for habeas corpus it was a state statute such as an ordinance in which you know you're gonna have a police officer say well you ran a stop sign back there or you you did a rolling stop or here in Texas they call it a California stop don't know what the hell that has to do with anything but that's exactly what it's called but what it did and the significance to how it be rose is this was the first case in 1947 50 years prior to how it be rose that showed without a doubt state statutes was subordinate to supreme court cases and federal law i'm also going to go into the ordinances themselves in another series because again there's going to be a statement and a case that goes along with showing that in order for an ordinance to be law which they aren't there has to be backing to show that they are lawful and if not it's just gibberish Adamson v. California, 332 U.S. 46, 1947. Fifth Amendment case regarding habeas corpus because of a state statute that violated human rights showed that Supreme Court cases and federal law were the supreme law of the land. And that means Law does not change from state to state, from county to county, from city to city. There is one law, and that's it. Everything else is just gibberish. Until the next video.